project in Unyonyo already kicked off, that is the Renaissance. Abam Batan said Dok walking and we are really, really amazed. Yes, to get up and get up this program here, here condominiums. Really, never saw that to get up and get up bit by bit what a condominium is and why you should take advantage of this uh, project. As Zenja always call it, work at homes. They are actually Bukoto in Kisota, I mean Bukoto, Kisota Road. Kisota Road, Mojimani, you're connecting Akisasi to Bukoto. Uh, Tuliku project, Jibaita, uh, Casa Luna. It's one of the completed ones. About two or three apartments left for you to come and grab. Yes. Lelo tuline Grace Kansime, ngaya kulida sales, oba chisaba tunzi, oba Comfort Homes Uganda. Yagen ukongera utisabesa more about condominiums. Ebibuzo bia mumbiteke mu comment section, okay? Tuagarubuze as many questions as you can. Tuongere okuba angula, ngabuosonda ne sente. Okujo tuchari leko olambule kuprojects za fezenja ulo. Obeko josi mogambi mbwenange gunomaka tegunde ka. I need to own a house. Okusoke lada tuagaru kutegira, what's a condominium? Yes, Grace, how are you? I'm okay. Okay, uh, hi everyone. Um, what I can say about a condominium, I would say is a unit, just a vela unit of a nyumba that you own as a person and you own it alone. But then you share all the other amenities, all the common areas. That's the easiest way I can say a condominium. So, is. so called okay. grace. Bogamba unit or together, because when you get there, no, never get a yam, penatulum sacata chechim, Monda Kalina. To in a lift, to in a Ebisenge Bianjaul. Cat when you get a Moriango Gunogum corridor, a mm. e, unit, Nenigira Macabu. That is one unit, right? No, actually, not like that. Because you can have one floor, but have like four units on one floor. So a unit is when you open the door and enter that one house. What makes that one full house? Let's say, for example, here we have uh, two bedrooms, two bedroom apartments. So whichever Whichever apartment you enter and it's a two-bedroom apartment is a unit. A we unit. call that a unit. Yes. So you own that unit as an individual or your family or something alone. Mm. But when you get out of that unit, whatever else that you share is owned communally or is owned by all the people that stay within, um, that, that bought within that project. Within the, okay. Yes. So that's what a condominium is. You own a unit as an individual, but all the other common areas are shared. Yeah. So, can you get up to get and you know, you know, and get you and get it? It's a community. Yes. To the community, to live and to band, you can get to live and to a sato, we are in a community here. Boy, get a moon by you, I will you walk, and I'm going to be the one gay changer, and the moons they come to suck at a change. So, when you are sato, you will mind a moon, but boy, get a walk, I will you walk. Nebo of Fuluma, lift ya fefena, silicale wa fefena, corridor ya fefena, nenga teni no one nanya ne kunyu be yange mwen yingira. Yes. Chotegeza. Yes. But when we enter our houses, you have your own title alone, and that is yours alone. So bogamba title. Cha title che chapa. Yes. Katin better and chane chapa. Kutake to no wedding and to mwa to banj. E overa ne chape cha unite yo jo je wagula. You get it. And actually, it indicates very well. In, for example, in the sales agreement that we give to people, because to be a kone agreement, jetu wa abantu, ukubategeza this whole thing of condominium. So when you enter your house, you have a milo title of that house. 
but also in this sales agreement it explains very well how you're also entitled to use the common areas the corridors the lifts the uh, uh, gyms for example the swimming pools whichever is within that project or property property yes within my unit within your unit you're entitled to use whatever is within the chikumi ku chikumi land. Yes. But you don't own them alone. You own them communally. Katin se wemba nga wem nabeda ne wang. Gandi wonze ka. Ninja garo kutunda. If I want to sell one ewa unity yang. I don't like even have to come consult comfort homes and cut into so what do I do? We're done. Yes. Condominiums being a new uh, thing in town, one why would I live with so many other people? Kuchin change. Yet I can have a land, a piece of land somewhere, mm -hmm. and have a standalone. What are the advantages of living in such a community? So what happens is when you're living uh, together in these apartments, for example, let's say a hundred uh, by a hundred kind of land, you're sharing uh, expenses. For example, security guards. You right. know, if for example they are they are they are asking for one million, I know unit unit one will pay. Uh, let's say 80,000, unit 2 will pay 80,000, unit 3, like that, like that. So already you're sharing those expenses. There's, there's garbage, people who collect garbage and all that. You're sharing that, that expense. There, there are people that uh, clean the common areas. You're sharing that. When you're living in a standalone, I'm not saying don't buy a standalone. If you can afford, please go ahead. But if you cannot afford, now that is actually, that takes us to another point that they're even cheaper than standalone. This is cheaper? Oh yeah, because imagine I want something close to, okay, I want to live in Bokoto at this point. Mm. Will I have the Plot here, Bokoto, one billion. billion? Exactly. Will I have the one billion? But if Nina, I have... So exactly. I look out for a condominium. Exactly. If, for example, now I had 300 million, I'd come and have a unit here at Casaluna. But if I had, if I, was, I waited for a standalone, imagine I'd have to work to double my efforts and work, let's say, five times more, and that would actually take me time. Because how things are right now, they will not be the same way in five years to come. If it's one billion, if a standalone is one billion now, five years after, by the time I have the one billion, it will be 1.5. Mm. I'd rather buy uh, the small what unit I can afford now that I, that in I can a setting that now. I want it. Mm. Nature and Abamo is about to Abamo. Bana Uganda tulu denga mliomuwa veda uwe. Ochaza buchaza batu nebaja they go. Na ye walu wabantu nga baga luku veda mchivuga in a town setting. Um, posh areas like this one. Nye nga taso mula gula wataka right now. Because one, space enzo kupata edi but also it is extremely expensive. But they want to live in a town setting. Nga sente zaina zimusoboso gende kayunga obasa mwea on Mitiana Road na funetaka now take out whatever they want. But it is not as as urban as they want to. Yeah. So Moche Moleta is giving people a chance. What it is as precious or as as private as they would want it to be, Nengali in the urban setting Jayagala, right? Yes, true. That's that's so true. Actually you brought it better. Okay. Bomba mono ya uh H4 Moteka condominium. Over project where is it? What do you look out for? Oh yeah, um, what do we look out for? The first thing is location. Because like we talked, the first thing that you should look out for is location. The reason as to why someone would leave his big house in Gayaza to come and buy here is because they want easy access to different amenities. So location is the first thing that you should look out for. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. The, 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 the moment you have all those things, okay, you can't have 100%, but the, as long as you have 70% of these things that people look out for, you're good to go. Location is always key.
as long as you have the best location, you have How such access roads, you have the schools where your kids, you know, you can just actually from here where we are, you can walk your, 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 your child to. I see the northern bypass. Exactly. The second thing is we're looking at, you must look at your neighborhood. How secure is your neighborhood? Because that's so important. Everyone wants to be secure where they live and you must be secure. You have to look at the people around you, and these are things that we do actually before we even buy the land. So by the time you come to buy a unit that is already constructed or under construction, we've already looked for the, the, the good location that has a good, neighbor, a good secure neighborhood, that has all those things, that the amenities, all those things. So that is what you should look out for when looking for a condominium. Okay, thank you so much, Grace. Nozakatimute Gederachi, Tuagaloku Bangula, about this because I've seen so many questions. Mubere Umwebu Zasha, as a sentence on Nans and Sorogan and Gula Makataka Kange, Wafe, Dia Kayunga, Nenzimbe Nyumbe, and Nenfisa on a balance. Yes, so Jizim, be well and good, and congratulations. But is it in a secure place like this one? Do you have all the amenities you have seen? No. Uh, are you safe? Probably not. So in Songa Zanja, we will watch our such settings. Era katitani kana ochiro waza. Kwa nini chuo era we waza? Tama mesa amani juu gakunga na bisele bisinga tega simi da bonya. Why? Because we don't want to be the money or the adjust chikola. We chime se go no go no chikola chilo. How do we maintain our property? We to 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 kunga ni zaba antunga basato ba mukaga oba basato ba tano in such a community. In our next episode, we're gonna talk about about how to maintain a condominium community. Thank you.